Hi, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about the uh, uh, homography. Homography is a projection between uh, 3D to 2D or between uh, 2D in one camera to the uh, other camera. So uh, I'm going to write down some equation and also uh, uh, some uh, drawing for the uh, model. Okay. Imagine this is a this is a plane, and we got a couple of points on that, and uh, this is the uh, center of projection for your uh, first camera, and uh, this is a camera plane that you get here, and uh, this is your work coordinate system. And uh, that's uh, another camera plane and center of projection for second camera. Okay, now imagine we got uh, uh, some points here on this plane. So they all could be fitted uh, on the plane. And uh, well, these points are being uh, projected into both cameras. So we just draw a line through the uh, center of projection. And you will get, for instance, uh, these points on the camera plane. And it's the same for the second camera. And you will get uh, these points. Okay, so uh, if you uh, remember from the uh, camera calibration, uh, uh, you can uh, find the position of this point on the uh, uh, camera plane uh, with uh, multiplication of. Uh, the point position in the work coordinate system multiplied by uh, m of uh, uh, extrinsic, which basically this matrix uh, express the poses that are in this uh, frame into this frame, and then uh, multiplication by M of I am or uh, for interesting parameters, which uh, when you uh, compute this point uh, in, the, in, the, in the camera plane, you know, uh, this is your sensor or camera plane, and this is this is the uh, uh, camera central projection. So the zero zero for the uh, camera plane is here. While the zero zero is uh, here for uh, uh, in this frame, so you know you have to do some uh, rotation and translation, so you uh, uh, shift it uh, from here to here, and also uh, you 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 uh, scales here in this frame are based on the meters, but here you have some pixels, so you have to multiply it by. Uh, you know, you know, you have to know the uh, scale ratio in both an x and y directions. By you have to know uh, how many pixels per meter you have. So if you here, I don't know, ten millimeter, you have to go in x or y direction. You have to multiply by pixel by meter. So you have to know how many pixels you have to go in uh, in the sensory plane or uh, camera plane. Because here is a matrix and here is a. Uh, frame. Okay, so I, you can multiply these two to get the point in the camera plane. It's, it's, it's basically a 4 by 4 matrix, you know, it's a 3 by 3 uh, rotation and a 3 by 1 translation plus uh, this an intrinsic matrix. So uh, basically, uh, 
you have uh, this matrix. I will write it down here. Okay, x, y, w is equal to m11, m12, m13, m14. M two one two 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 three. Okay. Uh, but we know that uh, the work coordinate system is something that we define. So if uh, we put our work coordinate system here in this plane, and this is a Z, the direction of the Z is upward. If you put the work coordinate here, actually the Z for all these points is zero. So it's going to be X, Y, zero, and W. And you can see every time I multiply this by this, I always uh, multiply this array by zero, this by zero, this by zero. So I can totally omit it and uh, I will uh, get a three by three matrix instead, which I will call it H. So uh, I'm going to have X, Y, W go to H multiplied by X, Y. Okay, so this is a uh, three by three matrix, which uh, relate the point in the world coordinate to uh, camera plane. Okay, uh, how can we find H? I will tell you in a second, but uh, before that, let's uh, see uh, if we can find a position in one camera and another camera. Okay, as you can, uh, okay, this H is invertible, means you can always uh, multiply by H inverse and uh, get the pose from uh, camera from, to the world. Okay, I will, uh, if I multiply both sides uh, by inverse, I will get, the, I will get this part, uh, point in the world coordinate system. And if I, let me just call it H1 for camera one, and again, if I multiply these by H2, I will get it uh, in the second uh, camera. So uh, let's just write it down. X, Y, Y, 1, W, 1. If I just multiply them by inverse of H, I will get this, okay? And then if I multiple this by H2, I will get X2, Y2, W2. Okay. So uh, that's how I can relate uh, this point to each other. But uh, the first, is, then the next step is how we can actually find H1 and H2. Okay, to do that, uh, let's uh, write down some equation and expand these uh, terms. Okay, so let us start with uh, uh, this matrix first. X2, Y2, and W2 is equal to H11, H12, H13. And you know that when you multiply these two uh, matrix together, you can always write it down as a, another homography, call it H, because it's a three by three multiplied by three by three is another three by three matrix. So H22, H2, uh, sorry, H21, H22, H2. H three one H three two X one Y one 
and w1. So, uh, <coughs> and, and you, you know that these are in the in a homogeneous coordinates, so if I uh, want to get the uh, inhomogeneous coordinate, I just have to multiply it by the scaling factor, which is w, so I call them prime. x prime 2 is equal x2 over w2, and y prime 2 is equal y2 over the w2. Okay, what is uh, what is uh, w? w is this term multiplied by this row multiplied by this column. Okay, so let's write it down. x prime 2 is equal going to be a long one, h11 x1 plus h12 y1 plus h13 w1 and h uh, w2 is h31 uh, x1 plus h32 y1 plus h33 w1 and by prime 2 is equal to uh, h21 x1 plus h22 y1 plus h2 Okay, so uh, we know that uh, these w or or actually are some scale factors, and uh, we can. Uh, this is something that we can define, and if we de define them one, uh, can get rid of uh, w. So uh, we just uh, want to w equal to one. And uh, remember, remember, we are looking for h. We multiply this by this, and we set the w1, and uh, we subtract it from this term to get the zero, I will write it down here quickly. So uh, x prime two, x1, h31 plus x prime two, we'll just write it down, w equal to one, x prime 2, y1, h3, 2, plus x prime 2, h3, 3, minus x prime 2, h1, 1, one and minus y1. Okay, so I just put the w equal to zero to one, and then I multiply this term by this term and subtract it by the uh, nominator. And same for second equation. Minus the uh, nominator H two one. Oh, sorry, X minus H two. Okay, so uh, this matrix is actually three by three, but. Uh, uh, you know, we can always uh, uh, define the, we can always set the W and H3 one such that we can always uh, divide it by that and uh, get rid of this last term. So, uh, we uh, the, the uh, degree of freedom for this matrix is actually eight. So, if we could find four points in our uh, work coordinate system here, uh, 
the uh, previous. Oh, where did I put it? Here. So in fact, if we could find four corresponding points, meaning that uh, we know exactly what is the position of these points, and we could uh, correctly identify them in both frames, in both uh, uh, image plane, we could plug them into this formula, write down eight uh, equations, one equation, two equation for each point, and then uh, we put it in a matrix form and we use the singular value decomposition to uh, uh, find the uh, value for H. Okay, let me just uh, write it down again. Uh, I'm looking for H, so I'm trying to decouple this uh, to two matrices, uh, one for H and one for the uh, other variables. So it's going to be something like a uh, long matrix like this, 9 by 1, uh, H11, one, one, H12, uh, up to H33. Three, three. Okay, and the other side is 0. And uh, if you have a look at this, uh, for instance, the first equation, I can write it down as minus x1 minus y1 minus 1, 0, 0, 0, x1, x2 prime, x2 prime, y1, and x2 prime. Basically I just uh, uh, decouple this uh, into two matrix. You can just check uh, this multiplication by this should give you this equation. And for a second equation I have 0, 0, 0 minus x1 minus y1 minus 1 Okay, uh, so that was for for uh, one point. If you write it down for uh, four points, you will get uh, eight equation here. And uh, uh, this is a uh, homogeneous uh, equation. That means on the other the other side is zero. So least of square to solve it because the least of square always was in the form of a x equal to b, and you multiply it by the uh, inverse or pseudo inverse of A. Uh, so in this case you have to use a singular value decomposition, you have to use the SVD and uh, the last columns of uh, D is the H matrix that we are looking for. Uh, you can have a look on my uh, website for the uh, more details on the code uh, I have done it uh, in MATLAB. You can have a look at the uh, example I provided there. And uh, yeah, that, that was it for finding the homography.